So, as it was reported earlier today, that Tua Tungavailoa will be the starter for the Miami Dolphins. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this move, personally. Um, and I want to know what the Miami Dolphins were thinking when they made this move. Um, I know that Tua Tungavailoa is a better player than Ryan Fitzpatrick is. I know Tua has a higher potential than Ryan Fitzpatrick does, but I still don't agree with this move, and I'll tell you why. So going into his uh, junior year at college, Tua was the number one pick. He was supposed to be the number one pick, and then it all changed against Mississippi State where he had a near career-ending injury that, according to some, should have knocked him out of the second round. But instead, the Miami Dolphins took the chance on him and drafted him with the fifth overall pick. Now, with his career, we expected this to turn to the Tua show pretty quickly. Um, especially once we found out that he was healthy, he passed all his physicals. And we expected Tua to take the reins fairly soon. One reason I think we all thought this is because we, we thought Miami was going to suck. We thought they were going to be horrible this year. But they're not. They're on a two-game winning streak and are one game out of the uh, division lead. They're a 500 team for the first time in a while. And I see no reason to take Fitzpatrick out. He just had an amazing game against the Jets, which, granted, it is the Jets. But he still had an amazing game, and he's had a good year. Maybe not to the extent of his, the Fitz Magic years, but still great years. Oh, a good year. But Tua came in again to close out the game against New York, completed two passes for nine yards total, and ended up closing out the win for the Dolphins. And then just a couple days later, we had, it is announced that Tua Tagovailo is now the starter of the Miami Dolphins. Now, I think, so the next game for the Dolphins is against the Rams uh, next week. They don't have a game this week, they but they face the Rams the week after, which I think was the plan with them all along. They said, we're going to sit them until the bye week, learn from Fitzpatrick, who is a great mentor for Tua. He's probably going to be one of, Tua's going to turn out good, and a lot of it's going to be due to Ryan Fitzpatrick's mentoring along with um, to his natural skill, but to his, I think the plan with Tua was always just to sit him out up until the bye week. It didn't matter who they played, and they were just going to have him benched. Well, not benched. They're just going to have him um, watch and observe how the NFL is, how it's different from college. They just want to watch, want him to be as prepared as possible. So I think they were going to say, okay. We'll have him play a little bit in the game before the bye week, and then bye week, we're going to announce him the starter. That, I'm fairly certain, was the plan from Brian Flores and the offense coordinator, quarterback's coach, whoever was in charge of making this decision. But I disagree with it. I mean, it's great to have him. It's great that he's starting. It's amazing, considering that he was on... He had a near career career ending injury, a possible career ending injury, and now he's a starter less than a year later. And it's amazing that he's starting, but I would have waited one well, two more weeks. One more week to announce it. Or I would have waited till after the Los Angeles Rams game. Um that's because the Rams are they're good. Their defense is stellar. It's one of the best in the NFL. And personally, I don't want my quarterback for his first for his first game to be against the best player in the NFL and Aaron Donald. Especially when Donald's on the defensive line. With as weak of an offensive line that Miami has, Donald's gonna have an amazing night. And I don't want that to be against my starting quarterback. My rookie starting quarterback who has the weaker hip right now. That doesn't sound ideal to me. I understand it's the week the week after the bye week, but I would have waited 
one more to the week after the Rams. Because if you go and look at their schedule, they play the Cardinals um, the week after, which, though a challenging game overall, not too difficult for... Um, it wouldn't be too difficult for Tua. And then following that, it's just the Chargers, Broncos, Jets, and Dolphins. Those four in a row. So I would say have Tua start the Cardinals game. Have Fitzpatrick start this Rams game after the bye week. Then Tua come in. Build up momentum in those four games. The Chargers, Broncos, Jets, and Dolphins. To have to, they then do have to go up against and finish off four very difficult opponents in the Chiefs, Patriots, Raiders, and Bills. But I think he had if you eventually he will build up the confidence. I mean, he already should he did, should have a lot of confidence in himself already. But in the just build it up like just that extra layer to go and to go and play against. The Cardinals, Chargers, Broncos, Jets, and Bengals, as opposed to throwing the Rams in there at the very beginning with an amazing defensive line, amazing defense in general, and possibly crushing something. We don't know what it's like inside the head of him. We don't know what it's like inside of his head. Um, we don't know if a single game can crush him. He hasn't really experienced loss in college. He lost two games. That's it. Okay. He never lost a regular season game. If my memory serves me right. He's never lost in the regular season. This would be his first regular season loss on two weeks. We don't know what kind of effect that could have on him for his career, but specifically I want to look like for the next game. If... Tua's confidence gets shattered against the Rams, and he goes into the Cardinals with the missing little bit of confidence, that game could turn out horrible, as we saw with the Cowboys. The Cowboys were supposed to compete. Some even thought they could win. But obviously, it doesn't work out. And that it wasn't for lack of confidence, I don't think. So imagine what a lack of confidence would have done to them. So that game could end up horrible for the Dolphins if Tua doesn't have confidence. Because then, then you go to the Chargers game, who the Chargers have been even with anyone they've played against. They've been even with the Chiefs. Grant, they've also been even with the Bengals, but they, whoever they play against, that's a good game. You don't want his confidence to be shattered. Not shattered. You, want, you don't want to break down his confidence from his first start. You don't want this Rams game to turn it just to a snowball effect because the games do get gradually easier. But if you start a snowball up at the top, you start it up here where it's the most difficult, the hardest to get up to, right? And it comes down. Okay, it goes down like this. If we start up here with the Rams, and then come down with the Cardinals, the, uh, the Chargers, the Broncos, Jets, well, Jets and then Bengals. But anyway, it goes, the difficulty of opponent goes down, just like this. There we go. I think that's, that's good enough. So, if he stumbles at the beginning, it's going to be harder to come, to slow down. Granted, they're easier opponents. But they're still challenging games. The Chargers aren't a pushover. The Broncos aren't a pushover. The Bengals aren't pushovers. The Jets are. But besides that, we don't. I, as of my as the general manager of the Miami Dolphins, I don't want to set my quarterback off on a career path on a this first little bit of his career bad we don't want that we want him to build up the confidence feel like he's the best quarterback in the nfl which he has the potential to be that's what we want from him and i wouldn't risk it against a team and it, it'll be a close game but i think we all we all have a fairly good idea that the rams are going to win i don't want my quarterback to have to stare down aaron donald 
every single play. That's not the first start I want for my quarterback. I want to not necessarily ease him in. I, like, I would say the Cardinals game is a great game to start him in. It'll be a shootout. That would be an amazing game to get his confidence up. But granted, that's just my opinion. There are many others that say I'm wrong. There are people that agree with me. In fact, there are people that say you shouldn't start till next year. But um, but yeah, if you disagree with me, leave it in the comments section. Um, please leave a like, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And thank you very much. Adios.